Welcome to this month's new moon ritual. And so the new moon is going to officially happen on Sunday, April 11th in Aries at 10.32 p.m. Eastern time. So of course, if you're in a different time zone, that'll be April 12th. But what's happening with this new moon is that it is all about new beginnings. It's an Aries, right? So new beginnings, it is a time for us to get ready for a new chapter, plant some seeds, welcome in changes. And this new moon is really powerful for manifesting. So be mindful of what you are putting out to the world as it contributes to what you are manifesting. And when I say mindful, I mean the words that you're saying, what you're thinking, how you are talking about yourself and your reality to other people, you know, what you're using, what, what phrases that you're you're literally using. Um, but in general, if you have been feeling stuck, know that the new moon, this new moon specifically, is bringing forward moving energy. So hopefully it'll help you get unstuck. And pay attention to any small impulses that you are receiving and take action. You know, that, that little bit of guidance is our next step a lot of times. And you never know what happens when you follow it. A lot of times, beautiful things. Just make sure that it is something that is positive for you and loving and the, the good inclinations. Also, if you are experiencing emotional intensity in your relationships right now, just know that it will pass. Have a little bit of patience. That just might be coming up right now with what's going on in the, in the sky. I was going to say in the stars, but same thing. And then also in general, um, feelings could be really intense right now. So, and like running high. So like if Aries is fire, a lot of like fire energy. So if it's a lot of like intensity and passion and like just, you know, things, um, just understand there are a lot of planets in Aries and that just rest when you need to allow yourself to recharge your soul, allow yourself to be like reborn or entering into new beginnings and have patience with your relationships and that those types of things. And when you're experiencing that kind of energy, it's going to pass. So yes, so that's kind of what's going on right now. So for tonight, we're going to start with clearing our energy and I'm going to start with my spray because I just made myself some more. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a reel with this. Um, so I'm just going to use my spray, but I'm going to use some sage too. So if you have Palo Santo or sage or something like that, you can grab it. If not, you could just imagine like white light coming and surrounding your body. So I'm going to say something to you as you clear your energy. Um, and this is what it is. So I clear away all that no longer serves me and weighs me down. I open myself up to what is in my highest and greatest good. I open myself up to what is meant for me. I open myself to opportunities that I haven't yet imagined. I am fully open and ready to receive abundance, new beginnings, and all the blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so next, we're gonna clear our space. So I'm just gonna stay seated in my chair so I can like stay on camera. But you guys can get in the middle of your room or do something like I'm doing. But I am removing all stagnant energy, negative energy, and unwanted energy from the space. I am filling it with loving light, uplifting energy, and supportive energy. This room is filled with divine energy. It is safe for me to let go, relax, and allow my journey to unfold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so you guys can put that down. And so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to just take a moment to get grounded and shake out any excess energy we are feeling. So let's just start off by putting our feet on the ground. You can take a deep breath. And I just want you to notice how your feet feel. Are they safe? Are they sturdy? 
Is it soft under your feet? What does the inside of your socks feel like or your shoes, right? Just notice how your feet feel. And so now I want you just to lift up your right leg and I just want you to shake it. Shake out all of that energy, all of that stagnant energy, anything that's just been stored in that right leg. And then we could switch and do the same for our left leg. And we can move our hips in our chair. And then next you can move your torso. So like if you wanna do like a front and back motion and like a side motion, but just move your torso. And next move your chest, switch directions. Move all of it if you want. And then with your right arm, shake all that out. Shake out your hands and your fingers. Same thing with the left, shake all that out. And you can also just move your head, and your neck. And then if you want, you guys can get up and twirl around or you could twirl around in your chair. Shake out all that energy, help yourself get a little bit more high vibe. If you wanna like jump around, whole point is just to help lift up your energy, get rid of that stagnant energy. And then we're gonna get started. So grab a piece of paper and a pen. And tonight we're gonna to do either three or four questions, depending on how long this takes us. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys the question and then we'll play some music and we will do answer it. So first things first, I want you to be real with yourself. I know I've said this before in a different moon ritual, but if you can't be honest with yourself, then how are you going to be honest with other people, right? So tonight, it's just you and the piece of paper and the moon's energy. Be real with yourself. How are you feeling? Is there something you need or want or are looking to release? And if so, expand on that. So I'm going to put this question in the chat and I'll say it again. How are you feeling? Is there something you need or want or are looking to release? And you can expand on that. So where's this chat? Okay, let's take, let's answer this until about 820. So we'll answer this for the next six minutes. And there's one other thing I want to do. Okay, all right, let's go.
How are we doing? Are we ready to move on to the next question? All right, cool. So our next question is what I kind of want us to spend the bulk of this ritual on. So there's something called scripting, which is something that Abraham Hicks talks about. And with scripting, it's a wonderful technique for manifesting. It's a way for us to tell the universe how we want things to be. And tonight, you're going to be the main character and you are writing your plot. So you're going to pretend that whatever you write is going to be performed exactly as you write it. You're going to describe in detail everything exactly as you want it to be. And with this, it's really about having fun. It's playful. This is a playful, fun, lighthearted exercise. And really focus on the feeling, like focus on feeling the life you would like to live. And so what ends up happening with scripting is that once we start to accept the script as the reality, the universe believes it and responds in the same way. And so there are stories of people who have scripted and like everything as they have written, as they wrote it, it happened. Is that the right pretense? Everything as they have, you know what I'm trying to say. They wrote it in one way and it happened exactly as they wrote it, Okay. So I'm going to copy all of this and put this in the chat, but I'm going to say to you again what it is that we're doing, the short version. So we are, tonight, you are the main character. You're writing your plot. Everything that you write will be performed exactly as you write it. So you're going to describe in detail everything exactly as you want it to be. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> We're going to do this one until like 8.33. Let's take 10 minutes for this.
How are we doing on time for that one? We're good, okay. Two more minutes, okay, we'll do two more minutes. Let's move on to the next question. Um, so what are action steps you can take to bring your script to life starting tomorrow? Let me rephrase this in a different way. <laughs> what can you do tomorrow that will help make the script that you just wrote come to life? Okay, so Think about the tiniest steps. Think about the baby steps. Think about the next thing that you can do that will still feel good. Even things that are realistic and, you know, something you, you will do tomorrow. Like if you want, you guys can write down all the action steps that you could take. And then you can figure out out of all of this, this list, these are the ones that I'm ready to start doing tomorrow or a few days from now. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's work on this until about 8.43 and then we'll do some Reiki.
how are we doing with that question? Good. Awesome. Okay. So last thing that we're going to do, because I want us to get, have a little bit of time to meditate. So we're going to take like the next three minutes and I just want you to write how life now feels like as you are taking your action steps and your script is your new reality. So like one, like pick like quick words that describes how your life now feels as your new reality from the script and the action steps that you take. So we'll go until 847. All right, so we're gonna move on to our meditation and some Reiki because I wanna make sure that we have time for it. So um, you can always go back to these questions. The last question was meant to be super short, but definitely revisit these if you'd like after. So what we're gonna do for this meditation is, I just want you to allow yourself to relax and be open to receiving whatever is meant for you at this time. Just have that intention. And yeah, relax, be open, and receive this Reiki.
Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Hopefully you are feeling recharged and excited. Because we, I did send you Reiki, please be sure to drink some water just to help flush out anything in your body as Reiki does help balance you and it does help release toxins. So please drink water. And if this is your first time seeing this video, welcome. Please hit subscribe and join us for future moon rituals as I do a full moon and a new moon every month. And I always post the replay. You're always welcome to join us live as well. And you can find that link below, but happy new, new, happy new moon. I hope you have a wonderful experience.